Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to some more College Football 25 Votes to Yolore Episode 3, if you want to call it. And yes, I did forget to label these as episodes, you know, Episode 1, Episode 2. This video you're watching right now in particular is Episode 3, but if you guys haven't checked out the last two parts of this, you know, Road to Glory Career Mode already, be sure to check those out. I will even have those links down below in the description for you to check those out for your Yourself. But now, as you guys can see from the title and thumbnail, you guys might be thinking, Oh, are you doing what I think you're going to do? Are you going to cheat? Are you really going to, you know, do a glitch or something? And no, let's not get it twisted, okay? I, if you guys don't know, believe it or not, I did play Road to Glory for the first time in the default difficulty. And no, it's not freshman, okay? I actually left it at varsity mode because guaranteed I haven't played a football game in quite a while so half of the stuff like I said before is pretty much new to me so I'm trying to get used to the you know pressure and the challenge of playing these football games nowadays on next gen so long story short before anyone in the comments think that I'm capping I literally left the difficulty on varsity just to get used to the controls like I said just to get you know the feel of how football games play nowadays that's the real reason why well, I'm showing you right now is apparent because I was doing so many practices as of late and I'm not gonna lie I did skip a practice or two at the time that's why I was on the bench the moment I got committed to Georgia right and so I want you to see this real quick look how much XP I earned as of late 880,000 XP and that is just for me just pure grinding on this mode there is no exploit this is no glitch by any means this was just me grinding on this game legitimately here on Road to Glory. And so I've done so much with the weekly agenda as of late. I studied more for this exam. I've upgraded my leadership. I spent energy points on health. I spent energy points on studying and stuff like that. You know, I, I did pretty much what I needed to do in order to get more coach trust. And so I could get more playing time for these videos. And so, by the way, if you look at the bottom of the screen, that's why I upped the minutes to 15. I had it on 10 and the quarters at one point, but then I was like, you know what? I realized something. Why not up it to 15 and the quarters just so I can get more playing time? So that way, the more I earn the coach trust over time, the sooner I might get a chance to play longer on the field, if that makes sense. And so that's why right now I'm still on the bench at the time, but you'll see I've been doing a lot more training and more practicing and stuff like that over time and so believe it or not that's why i've been getting tons of skill points as of late and look at my player build now that's me casually playing on varsity mode just because the game is fun at the moment for the most part at least and so that's why i upgraded my player to a 90 overall i was like a 75 last time i checked you know since i was a four-star recruit on this build so Probably that's another reason why I upgraded so early, but at the same time, at least from my experience, it's definitely due to the coach trust multiplier that I apply to my player. You know, due to me playing well and performing well and being extremely patient, and while off the field, I've been doing tons of stuff on campus with the weekly agenda, like I already said. And so that's why I get my player all already up there. And plus, on top of that, I want you guys to see my player in action, despite being the bench warmer on the team still as I was recording footage for this video but luckily I found the way to earn more coach trust and so I can get the coach's attention and all of my teammates attention so therefore we can actually build this team back up from scratch but with that being said guys moving on as you can see we won by 15 points I believe against Texas so that's game two for today back to back dubs and look at this we got ourselves a position battle but hold on before we continue to that look at this message right here well your midterm results are in you got a d plus a d minus twice and the f literally now i didn't realize this before editing this video this is back when i was at 82 overall and so it might seem like i mixed the clips up just a little bit out of order and stuff like that 
in which it, it may be true. But if you think about it, this is really me showing you guys the process. Before I was a 90 overall, I was still a bench warmer as an 82 overall. Okay, a low cut wide receiver, still trying to make it big. And so I'm showing you guys the process on how I managed to get to this point before I managed to upgrade my player a lot more. And so here is the footage of me actually putting in more hard work while trying my hardest to outdo whoever called me out for a position battle. Whoever that was who called me out for a position battle, son, get ready to lose your job. That's all I can say, okay? That's pretty much all I got for him. And so here I am just racking up points on top of more points and all of that good stuff. Now, moving on to the zone attack. Now, this is probably one of my favorite mini games in the road to glory thus far now as you can see here i am just trying to get open as much as possible while putting up more receiving yards so that way i can get a touchdown that quickly and so i do have a 60 second timer on me so i was basically under a time limit and so i had to literally get enough yards in as possible so i can move up towards the field a lot more so i can get another touchdown and so it was pretty much a rinse and repeat process that may be what it seems like but at least this one is a bit of a huge breath of fresh air especially compared to the first mini game that you guys saw earlier during this position battle okay i hate that mini game deep down thus far okay that's probably like one of my my least favorite mini games to do so far in this game as far as practicing goes okay and so here i am i won the position battle i earned tons of coach trust on top of that and now here i am getting my points up a lot more and so here we are the next game against the florida Gators. Okay, we got Georgia versus Florida, the big rivalry game. I believe this is a rivalry game. And here we are trying to go at it at home. We are at home this time, okay? And now, as you can see, I am officially playing on the field, guys. Okay, like I said, I have 15 minute quarters on this time around, just like how I do it in 2K on occasion, despite being your football game, so it is a bit different. However, that was just one play, okay? This is just my first time on the field in a minute. And so, here we go. We got our first receiving catch and already we got some yards in plus some more coach trust and yours truly, Rico! Rico, no! Doing his thing. Come on now. You guys have to cut him some slack. He's just happy to be on the field, okay? That's all. And look at this. Another receiving catch and ooh! Had I knew how to stiff arm that player, I would have gotten a touchdown instantly from doing that, okay? Now, mind you, at the time, I still didn't know how to do a complete stiff arm, and so it took me a bit of a minute to learn how to do it, but then I realized by pressing X on the PS5 in this case, you know, I managed to do it over time. But regardless of the case, here we go, another touchdown in the books, and so the score is officially 10 to 21 on top of a field goal okay now look at this right here normally in this cutscene, it would be me and another teammate running next to each other but for some reason it was just me out there in which i didn't really mind to be quite frank with you guys i didn't mind running by myself because i need some personal space if i'm going to focus despite being on a team I know that somewhat don't make sense, but hear me out, okay? Now, moving on, we got another plan, and so the score is now 10 to 24. Moving on, I got bunched once again, but luckily I got back on the field in no time. And this part right here, that particular play did get me a bit tight because not gonna lie, that was my chance to get open. And so I called for the ball and had the quarterbacks on me literally right there to be open for the catch. I should have made that catch myself. Himself, but unfortunately the QB of the team he passed it to somebody else and so that play got me feeling some type of way if you know what I mean but regardless once again we got ourselves another touchdown and then later on in the game that was pretty much it and so we blew these guys out 16 to 52 wasn't really that much of a major game per se you know looking back and stuff like that 
But thankfully, this time around, I got to be on the field more than once, you know. So I was building up my reputation to become a starting wide receiver. I'm slowly but surely getting there. Anyways, if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Run the views up. I'm telling you, run the views up ASAP. On top of that, hit the subscribe button if you are new to the channel. Turn on notifications. Share this video with your friends. Anyways, guys, I'm heading out. You guys take care, okay?